hi guys welcome back to my channel um i want to do like a quick update on my visit line so here is that video hey guys so i am on treatment number two with my invisalign lines I and mean, not my invisalign lines my my direct club my aligners whatever so since i did this last thursday since i uploaded this video last thursday today thursday may something shit i don't remember what is today may what may 6 um i just want to give y'all like a little quick update with it so y'all remember when i first put them in they matched my teeth like so identical like all i did was really pop them in and they didn't hurt and it just it just felt uncomfortable the next morning that i actually did wake up my teeth were like hurting so big because i went to sleep in them and see you're supposed to keep them in as long as you possibly can you want to eat not eat um drink not drink what the fuck? You want to sleep and be like up and aware with them. Only time you're really supposed to take them out is like if you're. Only time you're supposed to have them out is like when you're brushing your teeth, flossing your teeth, eating, drinking. If you're drinking anything besides water. So, like, if you're drinking water, you're fine. But other than that, you're supposed to keep them in. Now, like I said, this is the second treatment. I just popped these out because. But yeah, the bottom of my teeth, they hurt, but putting them back in actually hurt more than actually taking them off and having them on. Now, right now, it just feels like my teeth are being squeezed really bad. Um, But the top teeth, I don't know, these bitches hurt. Like, they just feel super, super tight. Um, So, that's just that on this little update. I know I said I was going to wait till two months, but, like, I just want to tell y'all right now, like, these bitches actually, like, hurt. The first time, <clears throat> the first time it wasn't really that bad until like the second morning, but now I'm on treatment number two and I think it like gets intenser after this. Um, they do hurt, and I did notice teeth ship. How you shift me? The um, this. So yeah, like I have an overbite on my teeth, so it's like, and like. Before, like, my teeth were just, like, you know, like, perfectly. Now, it's, like, I feel the teeth actually on the back of my teeth or, like, the back teeth don't, I don't know, they, they don't sit right. So, I know that they're actually moving. So, I'm pretty excited, but I just want to give y'all, like, a little update. This shit do hurt, though, really bad at this point. Um, But, I mean, no pain, no gain, right? So, wish me luck. Thank y'all for watching. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm doing a story time today for y'all. Um, in today's story time, if y'all can't hear me or if y'all hear like the fan in the background, it's because my room is so cold. It is so cold in here, and it's like if I know it's loud and I can hear it, I don't know if y'all can hear it, but hopefully it's not a real issue because I'm not talking no louder than this. Um, but yeah, today's story time. Now, I had to go back to my channel some and, like, watch my first video and see if I even talked about my, um, how I lost my virginity. But this that video don't really explain a whole lot. It don't really talk about too much. So, I'm going to do my story time of how I lost my virginity. And then, I'm going to also talk about my first time sucking dick. <laughs> that shit was crazy. Um, so, basically... The story of how I lost my virginity is... I'm going to give y'all two story times. There's two different story times. The first story time is short, but the second story time is the real story time. Um, So, my first time losing my virginity, I was in ninth grade. But let me talk about this eighth grade situation. So, in eighth grade, I wanted to fuck this boy so bad. Like, he was dark skinned. I just knew he had a big dick, though. I just knew he had a big dick. Now, why the fuck is an eighth grader thinking about dick for well, my mama had these books that she used to read. And them books was so fucking freaky, dog. Like, she would pick these books up from the library. And they would just be called the Urban Books and shit. And they just had, like, the freakiest title and the freakiest shit was going on in the book. And I just always said to myself, damn, I can't wait till I'm older. Oh, I can't wait till I'm 20. But just going on and on and on. Yeah, 20, 20, 20 was not the ideal 
age for me. No, I want the fuck. So, like I said, it was this dude in the um in my eighth grade class, and he was like I said, he was dark skin, and he just looked like he had a nice size dick. So I asked one of my little friends, like, girl, go set it up, go like, go tell him, like, I want to fuck, like, go tell him, I'm trying to fuck, like, go tell him so we can fuck. And she was a little white girl, so like, she she went ahead and did it, like, she talked to him, and we like met up in the school bathroom. Now the way the school was set up, it's like the it's the entrance door, and you come in, and so you coming in, and on this side you have the gymnasium and you got the bathroom on the opposite side so now we facing the gymnasium so we boom we're facing the gymnasium so here go the gymnasium and in the back you got the stairwell to downstairs to the locker room to go change your clothes and stuff and then you have a bathroom right there and now on the other side the office is right there so my glasses is broke y'all um so you we get so we meet in that bathroom so that's the bathroom that we're gonna meet at so I get to the bathroom and then he gets to the bathroom and then um so yeah we in the bathroom and we're talking and so we know you know we we pull our pants down and you know we get busy now he ain't never put it in he's never put the dick inside my coochie so we didn't really fuck basically what it was is like this is this is my coochie and his, this is his dick okay this is his dick yes y'all he did have a big dick too y'all just just in case y'all was wondering but this is his dick and he tried to put it in the coochie hole but he keep missing so pretend my coochie's still up there i take my hand and you know i'm trying to guide it up there but i got my hand like this like i don't physically grab it and stick it in like i got my hand like this and like I'm trying to push it up, so he feel my coochie now. So now his dick is just going like this, and it's just rubbing against my coochie. That shit felt so good. I didn't say shit, didn't say shit. Just his dick rubbing up against my coochie, little eighth grader. What? That shit felt so good. I ain't say shit. So no, we ain't really fucked. So that's just that. I want to get that shit out of the way. Now the real story time. So ninth grade year comes. Um. So I'm in high school now. Whatever, whatever. Boom, boom, boom. And, um, I started talking to this dude. Now, I did a story time on this dude already. But, like I said in that video, it don't really explain a whole lot. Now, he was a football player. Um, and I had, I stayed up to school because I had failed a science test. Um, so since I failed the science test, I stayed up to school, of course. Um, and he, like I said, he's a football player. Um, so he comes upstairs to the library i don't know what made him come upstairs or what but he happens to come upstairs and like it's me and another girl we sitting there and we're talking and like she's cool with everybody because i think she's like on student council or something like that i don't know but she just she knows most of everybody she talks to most of everybody and that's just what it is excuse me um so basically me and him were just talking and talking and talking and talking and we go downstairs so we head into the bathroom and the way the school was set up when we first started ninth grade year the school was going through construction so it's like i'm just gonna say well i went to howard it's in wilmington delaware so if you're not from wilmington delaware or you're not from delaware you don't know what howard is don't even worry about it. but when i came freshman year they was going through construction so like they had a library before a media center they had a library and the library was on the whole opposite side of the school. So, I can't even envision what the school fucking looked like. Because they did so much construction. Um, but, like I was saying, the library, because that's what it was at the time. The library. Um, the way you would get down to, like, the classes at the bottom of the school. What's, what are them called? The, I call them the boy classes. The boys fucking shit. The boy shops or whatever. So, the, the working on the cars and plumbing and shit like that. That shit was all downstairs. So, that's the bathroom me and him went to. So, we we went to the bathroom downstairs and we started fucking. Now, mind you, ninth, eighth grade year, I didn't really have no damn sex. So, I didn't know what the fuck to expect. All I thought was, oh, his dick gonna rub against my coochie too and this shit gonna feel so good. No. 
That did not happen. He got it in. And it hurt so bad. Now, mind you, I'm a virgin. I've never had no dick inside my coochie. This shit, the way I read those books and the way this shit was feeling inside my coochie, no, baby, it was not the same. It was like, oh, it feels so. No. This shit was whack. This shit was whack. I didn't like it. I did not like it. It didn't feel good. No, wasn't for me. Wasn't for me. So yeah, that's how that happened. So yeah, his, it was not all of that. It. And it's like we fucked multiple times, and then it led up to the story time of how I got caught by the dude, by his girlfriend, and that girl was my friend, and we're still friends to this day. Um, we all we are friends to this day. You know, get mad at somebody for fucking your man. Um, you get over it because at the end of the day, he knew he went out with her. I knew they was talking, but me and him talking too. So it's just like, if we talking and y'all don't officiate the, oh, we together, we boom together. Well, then shit, y'all just talking. It don't matter who fuck him. So at the end of the day, it did not matter. But. And now I'm going to talk about, now I'm going to talk about, um, oh yeah, me and him fucked multiple times. Multiple times. Shit never got better. Um, now I'm going to tell y'all the story of how I started sucking dick. Because mind y'all, I've never sucked this dick. Never believed in sucking dick when I was nightgown. I'm just like, me, put that in my mouth? Are you crazy? Bitch, you know I'm not doing that. But, I think it was like my 10th or 11th grade year. It had to be 10th grade like in the middle of 10th grade you're going on to 11th grade um i started talking to this dude blah blah blah, blah. and see guys i have a thing for dark skins i got a thing for dark skins and brown skins i don't know what it is i know exactly what it is they fucking find this shit and i just know they packing it so i started talking to this dude he went to a whole different high school than i did um yeah just I never knew I like when I'm new from I'm I'm new to Delaware y'all so it's just like I came to Delaware my seventh grade year it's like I don't know these people for I don't know I don't know nobody so my fingernails is blue because I was dying my hair blue and the blue wasn't looking cute I got my wig on um let me take these off because I can't even fucking put these on y'all hold on before I tell y'all this story time for real I went up to the eye glasses place to go get my glasses fucking fixed, okay? You would think it's a pandemic. You would think I'd keep masks in my car. Where the fuck was my mask at? I looked up and down, all around, my whole car, no mask. I was pissed off because I just drove all the way up there. And I didn't even have a mask. And it's like, I have a habit of saying, oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to get this done. I don't ever get it done, but like literally, I had to go to the gas station today. And since I was passing it on my way back, I was like, okay, this is a perfect opportunity to go here. It's only eight fifty something. They're gonna open at nine. Boom. And now I would have been bright and early. Hey, can y'all put just a leg on my glass? No, it didn't fucking happen. I'm pissed off because today I'm not leaving back out this house. I'm not going nowhere. And if I do happen to go somewhere, it's not to no eye doctor. I'm not gonna fucking remember. Two, it's on the whole. It's not even on the whole opposite side, but it's like it's it's like a 15 minute drive. I'm not trying to take no 15 minute drive. Mm. Like absolutely the fuck not. But like I was saying, so yeah, I was talking to this dude from a whole nother school. Um, and like we linked up and hold on, <laughs> everything used to just happen after school. Everything. So he had like a car. And I had to stay after school anyway. So he picked me up from after school. And we started fucking. He was like, he pulled his dick out. His dick was so big, y'all. His dick was so big. I don't care. His dick was huge. Um. So, yeah, like, he whipped it out. And I just wanted to try it. Like, you know, I ain't never did it before. So, let me let me see what's up with it. You know, you watching a bunch of porn. It's like, bitches is doing it. So, it's like, maybe it's normal. So, I started sucking this dick. And it's just like, ooh, 
I like dog he was going in and I guess I was going in I guess I was doing my thing and it's like that was like my first time ever sucking somebody's dick so it's just like but not to be cocky the way I suck dick now my throat crazy he gonna keep curving you yeah that's my throat really crazy now so before it's just like oh that's my first time and like i would used to lie to people like <laughs> i ain't lying to him because he could tell it's my first time because i i kept like my teeth kept you know scraping it a little bit but like like my body's after that oh i've never done this before but after a while i just stopped saying it because it's just like well once you at your fourth body it's just like they really have to lie anymore even if they don't know like it's just like do you really gotta keep lying to yourself so you want to impress these niggas now like fuck but some people they deserve this crazy throat but oh well but yeah that's my story time how i lost my virginity and how i came about sucking dick but y'all i had this wig on so cute last night but i fucked up because y'all the, it's a, the ear tag is on over here but the way I had the wig on last night the wig was a little this way so like every time I kept trying to put the part in the middle y'all it wasn't parting in the middle and I was just like yo is this thing on backwards and I check on the thing in the back like little comb and I'm like yo this shit's not even on right like the shit was like leaning so like the way this shit is cut like the ear tag was cut all the way back here. This side, since I had to move it, it's like the ear tab that's cut on this side is cut. <laughs> it's so fucked up. And this is like, this wig is so soft. This wig was from MissCoco.com. I didn't get it from AliExpress this time. I actually got it from the actual website. So, you know, I paid a pretty penny for this pretty wig. I love this wig. I love it. It's so, it's so silky. Like, I can go like this with it. Nothing like it's a, it's a simple comb through with your own fingers like i love this wig like my aliexpress wigs i couldn't i can't do all of i can't do this and it fall back out pretty like no i would have to actually take that brush and go whoop, whoop, whoop. and luckily i got this wig and they don't need all that because i don't even know where the fuck my brushes is at but yeah i'm gonna take this wig i'm i'm, I'm gonna look for somebody that i can take this wig to so they can just <sighs> <laughs> so they can put some lace back on it or something like I don't even know like I be seeing those videos on YouTube all the time of people so I want to see if I can find somebody to do that so I can just recut the ear tag and well not even recut the ear tag because the ear tag I think was cut it was cut right here so I had the wig literally like all the way over here until I realized like alright yo like this isn't even working so whatever but like i said this week is from miss coco.com and like i said i paid a pretty penny for this um it was like 277 almost 300 dollars. i had never paid that much for no week before um but since i knew this was gonna be good quality hair it's just like whatever but i'm gonna go ahead with the hot comb lay this bad boy back down lay them baby hairs back down and just going by my business i know this feels a little long now because i keep talking but it's whatever so yeah i gotta go back in and like just recut the tab off but it's okay whatever it's cute for right now but yeah thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video ah